Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from The Ratchet Collectors, and today we're gonna do a pickup video. As I'm winding down to the final games on the Sega Dreamcast library, I'm finding that variances are what I'm looking for now. Not to say that I'm gonna go for the really expensive variances, but there's some variants that I'm gonna try to go for and just bump up my library a little bit more because getting close to the very end, I just need a new challenge for myself. And if you're a collector, you know what that means. So I got six games here and they're all pretty much sports titles, but there are variants to other sports titles that I do have. So we're gonna take a look at real world fishing and it's exactly what it is, fishing in the real world. Ah, got it. The picturesque environments is no different than any other fishing game on the Sega Dreamcast a little bit more realistic than a game like Sega Bass Fishing. Next, we're gonna take a look at four Sega All-Stars games that I just needed to get into my collection. Just because I got close to the very end of the completion of the console, I just felt like I needed some other challenge to go for. And that's, I started off with NFL 2K, NBA 2K1, Virtua Tennis, and NBA 2K. Now when you're going for a complete collection and you're getting to the near the end, you find that you need a new challenge, something that you want to go for as far as getting this collection going a little bit further. And I found that the Sega All-Stars fit that bill pretty good. The only issue is I came across these four games and one or two of them aren't legit Sega All-Stars versions games, if you understand what I'm saying. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go for their variants again just to get the complete, just because of my OCD, just to get the complete game. Right now I have NBA 2K1, but it's not the Sega All-Stars version. So with that being said, even though I have the cases and manuals and all that, I still have to hunt down the Sega All-Stars version discs for them. Huh? Weird, I know. And lastly I have Super Runabout. And I have a video coming out on this game as far as Sega Dreamcast exclusives, and this is gonna be included in it, so stay tuned to that. When you're a collector, you don't stop at just one thing as far as games goes or comics or anything like that. You pretty much branch out. You're looking at a lot of different genres or different things that you want for your collection. And my daughter got into old pop collection. I have a few of them myself, but she got into it. She has about like 20 or so. And every time I go to the store, I'm always out looking for something for her collection. And if I don't find anything for her, I'm obviously looking for me. And I came across Torbjorn from the Overwatch franchise. He's one of my mains in the game and I really enjoyed the game. I haven't played it in a while. I actually re-downloaded it on my Xbox One. Changed a lot from when I played it, but it's a, still a great game. The fact that you don't really need to buy anything to play that game, you just play it. The skins are no different, they're just cosmetic. And I really enjoy that as far as a game goes. You don't necessarily need to buy the full version of the game or the passes. You just keep playing and enjoy the game for what it is. And Overwatch did an amazing job at that and Blizzard knocked it out of the park. And Torbjorn being one of my favorites, being able just to put down a turret and just hide behind it and keep repairing it is one of my favorite things to do in this game. And lastly, it's something that I promised myself I wasn't really interested in once it was released. I had no interest in whatsoever. My brother-in-law has a full library of it and I felt no need to actually want to buy this for myself when it was released and I wasn't really looking forward to spending that when I already have a console that plays those games that my brother-in-law has and that's the NES Classic. I had no desire before I saw it. I just had to buy it. I didn't necessarily need it. It's just something to have connected to my TV so that if my kids want to play an old school game without having to borrow my brother-in-law's games, they can. The downfall of this is the very short cord. Once I connected to my TV, my wife had a reason to play because she's not very big of a gamer, but once I gave her the NES controller and Mario 3 on the screen, she really enjoyed it and she was trying to show me a lot of the stuff that I didn't remember while playing it. And there you have it. Some things I didn't want, some things I didn't know I needed, and some things I felt that I needed to add to the collection. Let me know what you guys think. What's your favorite pickup of the whole collection here? What was your last pickups? Let me know in the comments down below. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks guys.